If you want to know the future of retail in, in Colombia, in Peru, in Mexico, in Chile, it's this. In my country, 70% of all retail is captured by only eight companies, eight brands. And of course, we still see a traditional pattern of retail in much of San Diego. But it's going to change. And as this changes, so the logistics and supply chain machine will also consolidate. So you will see a huge amount of scaling up in this industry of supply chain. When we look at things like the airline industry, you require huge investment. You have to have scale. It's impossible to do it unless you have vast numbers of orders. It's the same with cars. There are very few companies that have the technology to be able to create a robot that will drive that vehicle. So I showed this slide six years ago. It's still true, except one thing. Um, as I predicted, this three operating systems for mobiles is now only two. <laughs> Our world is too small to have more than two big airlines, too small to have more than five big auto companies. Does it matter? Yes, it does. It's part of the consolidation of supply chains. And you might say, well, what happens to small companies like some of ours in here in, in, the, in Chile or in Costa Rica? The answer is that uh, we start fitting around the edges. We start providing local components to companies which are building other things. Um, and uh, it's to do with personalized manufacturing. It's to do with individual things, things which are increasingly being changed. You have very big companies producing huge numbers of cars, but, there's, but they have to be different. Each person wants a slightly different car. So there are opportunities inside these huge companies to supply all kinds of things.